Hello everyone, my name is Michael and welcome back to another episode in this Selenium tutorial series. In this episode, I'm going to explain all about proxies, why we use them, how we use them and all about them. And this is a very important topic for web scrubbing, so stick with me and I'll explain it step by step. So yeah, with that said, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so first of all, we need to understand what an IP address is and how it works in order to understand how proxies work and what they are. So as you'll see here, let's say this is the internet and this is your router and this is the IP address, which is public, anyone can see it, which is assigned by your ISP or your internet service provider. And this is just your local IP addresses that your router assigns to your devices, but we will leave that for now. So when you make a request to the internet, as you will see in this diagram, this is your computer. You send a request to your internet and your internet based on your IP address knows where to return that content that you requested. So first of all, you send to a website your IP address this one right here and you tell it I want to request this this is my IP address give it give me the information back to that IP address and then as you'll see you have the local IP addresses and the exact same thing happens with your local IP address you send a signal to your router to make that request and your router then knows to which device it sends that request that the data to now what a proxy does is instead of sending your IP address to the website that you want to request the data from, from your computer, you send a request to your proxy or your proxy server, and then that proxy server makes that request for you with its own IP address. And then once it receives the data to the proxy, the proxy sends that data back to you. So what ends up, so what ends up happening is the website you are trying to visit is not seeing your IP address, but it's seeing the proxy IP address. Now, what this is useful for in web scrapping is one, when you want to see content that is not accessible from your country, let's say, I don't know, YouTube or Google recommendations. If you are searching for a cafe, now this is not a real world example for web scrapping, you probably do something else, but Here's a simple example so for you to understand. If you search, for example, in, in Google Cafe, it will show you something in your town or close to you. Now, what if I want to get results in Google, but for USA? Then I'll use that proxy and I'll use specifically a proxy from USA and that way I'll be able to get results for USA. Now that's one thing. The next thing is you might want to make multiple requests to the same website for whatever reason. But what ends up happening is if the website sees multiple requests from the same IP, it might block you. So what you can do is you can use multiple proxies and you can switch between them. So you can use one proxy and once you get blocked on the targeted website, then you can switch the proxy again. And that way you can make as many requests as you want on a website without being blocked since you switch your IP address each time. Now in the web scrapping world, it's essential to use a trustworthy proxy provider because you are relying on that proxy provider to give you good proxies otherwise you are risking your accounts to get banned or blocked especially if you are doing stuff like e-commerce or automation so this is why we will use this proxy checker by pixel scan and what this plugin does is you give it your proxies and it gives you a quality score for your proxies you have to understand that every proxy has a risk score and think of this score is as a measure of how noticeable or detectable the proxy is from a website. Because if you are using a high risk score proxy, the website can easily detect that you are using a proxy and not your real IP address and they will block you or even ban your accounts. So we will be using this plugin, ProxyScan 
proxy checker by pixel scan to scan our proxies and and see if we are using good proxies this is a firefox browser add-on so you'll have to use firefox then you can visit the link in the description or just search for proxy checker right here and i have already downloaded it but let's remove it so what you will do is you'll click right here to add to firefox and click up here to add and okay and that's it now once you click it and open it as you'll see it allows you to select a protocol and by default it has http and here you can provide it a list of your proxies so let me get a list of proxies to show you how this works so i found a few proxies to test this out so let's click check proxies and as you'll see it will scan them and it will only scan 50 proxies each time but that's fine so let's wait and there we go so this is the results now i did use free proxies so we have free proxies and paid proxies and now you'll see using free proxies we get very bad results as you'll see most of them are erroring so they are not even working or functioning and as you'll see even the ones that are successful have a risk score of 100%. Now we want the risk score to be very low so and the quality level to be high and of course we want the success rate to be over 90% or we are risking our accounts to be either banned or blocked or at the very least our script to not work correctly because if you are using proxies that do not work at all it will crash and fail. Now I've tested a bunch of proxy providers and I've come to realize that not all of them are made equally. Most of them provide clean proxies 25% of the time and this is very bad because as we said we are risking of our accounts either getting banned or, or at the very least we are getting blocked from, from the website and we are not getting good results. But this is where I found Node Maven to be an impressive proxy provider because they provide clean proxies 95% of the time with a very low risk score and you will see it as we test it in a bit using the plugin. So yeah, actually let's go ahead and test them immediately. Now let's get some proxies and test and test them out. So let's copy them here and I'll show you in a bit how you can get your own at Node Maven. So let's go back to our plugin. Let's run a new test, copy them here and click check proxies. And there we go, so as you'll see, we only get low quality IPs 2% of the time, which means we get clean proxies 98% of the time, which is amazing. And also, as you'll notice here, almost all of them have a risk score of either 0% or 38%, which is very good. This is what we are looking for, and of quality level high. And of course, success rate because we are using paid proxies is 100%, which means our script will not fail at any time because we don't have a proxy which is crossing our scripts. Now, full transparency here, Node Maven is sponsoring this video, but I want to emphasize that I chose to work with them because of the great quality proxies they provide. And it's important for me to bring you the best and with Node Maven, that's exactly what you get. So thank you very much, Node Maven, for sponsoring this video. And yeah, let's continue. Now, before we start coding, you need to get yourself some proxies. So use my affiliate link down in the description, and you will get access to a free trial that Node Maven is having. And also use code Michael, and you will get an extra two gigabytes at any package that you purchase. So yeah, let's see how you can get your own proxies. So let's close this and after you purchase some bandwidth and create an account, of course, you can go to here proxy setup and let me explain to you what each thing does. So as you see, we have location settings and here is where you specify where you want your IP to be from. So for example, we can choose United States and by using the United States IPs, the websites we visit think we are from United States. So if you are using content that is only accessible from another country, 
then you can specify the country here, otherwise you can leave it a random. Then we have either sticky sessions or rotating sessions and if we click right here, using a sticky session, you get the same IP address for up to 24 hours, but with a rotating session, you can use the same proxy and it will switch IPs per each request, which is great. Now, each session type has its own usage. For example, if you want to maintain a session, for example, logging into a platform, you don't want to change IPs very frequently when you deal with authentication. But if, for example, you're you just requesting data from a website but it doesn't require authentication, then at that point it's best to use a rotating proxy. So each time you make a request, you use a new proxy. Then we have IP quality filter, which by default we should leave to on, so we always get the best proxies. Now for protocol, you should use HTTP for most of the use cases. And then finally, you have the output format. This doesn't really matter, it just selects to which output it will generate the proxies. So we will leave this output with a protocol because this is how we will use them in our Python script. And yeah, that's it. Now, before we start coding with Selenium, we first need to use Selenium Wire, and this package allows us to use proxies that require authentication, like the ones from NodeMaven, and also all paid proxies require authentication, so have that in mind, but free proxies, on the other hand, will not require authentication. So, so I'll let you know how to do it in both ways, either no authentication or with authentication. And if we scroll down and go right here to proxies, as you'll see, it, it tells us how we can use proxies with authentication. So if we go right here, as you see, we can just pass an option and we tell it to use a proxy. We specify the, the type, either HTTP, HTTPS, etc so we will be using http and as you'll see here we can specify the username and password like so so let's go ahead and create our own project first of all let's click new new folder let's name it selenium and let's open it in visual studio code now if you haven't already you will need to install selenium so to do that you can do a pip install selenium of course we need selenium wire now as this installs let's go back let's go on top and let's copy this test code right here and we need to copy paste right here our code and as you'll see instead of using selenium to import web driver we are importing the web driver for from selenium wire but it's the same thing so it doesn't really matter, let's clean this up. And let's go back again and copy this code right here, the options. And we need to verify if we are getting the same format. So as you'll see, HTTP, user and password. So if we go right here, as you'll see, it's the same format. So this is good. We don't have to make any changes. This is user, password, and then we have host and protocol so let's copy one of them actually let's make them rotating so i don't have to make a system with to rotate the proxies it will do it automatically so that's great so let's copy it and that way you don't have to switch the proxies yourself this will do it automatically at every request so let's remove this part so before we continue, let's make sure our proxy is working correctly. So if I visit right now, what is my IP address? As you'll see, it is showing this IP address. Now, if we go here and let's disable this for now, let's disable the proxy and run our script. Actually, I forgot to change it. So let's first replace this URL. There we go. Okay, so first of all, let's import time. And let's type here time.sleep. 
I'm going in seconds, so our browser doesn't want to close immediately. And uh, let's go back here. Okay, uh, we don't even have to do that. Let's go here. What is my IP? And as you'll see, here is this. There we go. As you will see, I'm getting the exact same IP as right here is my normal IP address by the way don't worry I'm using a VPN so this is not actually my IP address but if we re-enable the proxy use here and run again and actually let's visit Google instead and let's go here and now this time as you see using the proxy it shows that my IP address is totally different and as you'll see it also shows that I am from another country from Philippines which is not true of course so yeah our proxy is working correctly so that's how you can use a proxy and now if you want to use a proxy without authentication uh, I guess as you saw in the example as well right here you can use proxies without authentication normally just don't include the user and password and it will work normally and yeah, that's how you can use a proxy with Selenium. So use my affiliate link down in the description and you will get access to a free trial that NodeMaven is having. And also use code MICHAEL and you will get an extra 2GB at any package that you purchase.